Hi everyone, in this short video I want to show you a really good book that you can use to learn linear algebra with. This is the Shams Outline series, Theory and Problems of Linear Algebra. This is by Seymour Lipschutz and it includes 600 solved problems completely solved in detail. And you can see this is an older edition, super old and yellowed pages. I'm going to give it a whiff here. It just, oh, it smells, oh, it smells amazing. It smells like an old comic book. Oh, so nice. I actually bought this um, at a bookstore, at a local bookstore, but you can get this online and I'll try to leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. Shams Outline of Theory and Problems of Linear Algebra by Seymour Lipschutz, professor of mathematics, Temple University. I'm going to be very careful here with the pages. Uh, these tear easily. If you turn these quickly, you can easily tear the pages. I have done that, <laughs> so experience. 1968, that was a long time ago, right? Very, very long time ago. I did not exist. Uh, this is before my time. And here's the preface. Let's see what it says. Linear algebra has in recent years, so he's talking about in the 60s, become an essential part of the mathematical background required of mathematicians, engineers, physicists, and other scientists. This requirement reflects the importance and wide applications of the subject matter. This book is designed for use as a textbook for a formal course in linear algebra or as a supplement to all current standard texts. Yeah, and you can also use it uh, for self-study or as a reference. I think it's worth having all the shams um, that you can get your hands on. Let's take a brief look here at the contents. So vectors in Rn and Cn, linear equations, matrices, vector spaces and subspaces, basis and dimension, linear mappings, matrices and linear operators, determinants, eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Turn the page here very carefully not to tear the page. Economical forms, linear functionals and the dual space, bilinear, quadratic and Hermitian forms, inner product spaces, and a couple of appendices here, sets and relations, algebraic structures, and polynomials over a field. And so the general outline of these Shams books is you have like an introduction and some knowledge. And then it jumps to more knowledge. Notice that's all it's all broken up nicely. So you've got vectors in Rn, uh, addition and scalar multiplication. And then at some point, after all of these examples, we get to solved problems. So you have actual solved problems that are worked out in detail. Very nice. And then more here. And then it's broken up by subsection. You see vectors in Rn, so you can go back and reference that particular section if you're working on these let me just show you see this is the subsection uh, for which this first exercise set is created uh, likewise if i turn the page here you see dot product right so we can go back and look for dot product and be very careful here with turning the pages let's go back again carefully dot product and then you see here there's the information for um, the exercises in the dot product section. You see there's quite a few solved exercises, right? And then sometimes in these you have extra problems, like here, here it calls them mis miscellaneous problems. You see, so you have extra ones. And most of the Shams have a very similar outline. And then here we have supplementary problems, so even more problems. So it just keeps going and going and going. Then you have answers here to these supplementary problems. So you've got tons of worked examples, and then that's chapter one, and then we go to chapter two, which is linear equations. So as you can see, um, great book. I'm sorry, I have to give it a whiff again, just one more time. So this is gonna have, this is gonna have all the standard material you need. Uh, if you were taking a linear algebra course in college, this would basically have everything you need to know uh, in the book for the most part, and extra. It'll have things like you don't do in class. Um, for example, let me just find something, like here this, uh, bilinear, quadratic, and Hermitian forms. You might not do that in your linear algebra classes, right? You just might not do it. You might take two courses in linear algebra and not do it. It's got a lot of stuff here on inner product spaces. I mean, you'll do some of that, but it's just it just has a lot of content. And that's the case typically with Shams. They have more material than what you would need in a typical course. It talks about canonical forms. 
triangular form quotient space. Yeah, so a lot of the stuff, um, a lot of it you will see, but a lot of it uh, you won't necessarily see. So yeah, I think if you're looking for a solid linear algebra book, this is uh, a great choice. Um, these are pretty inexpensive. And again, I'll try to leave a link in the description. Check out the description for links to other things like books, courses, etc. As always, take care and stay strong, my friends.